Hey everybody. Hello. Hello. We um, are here, our live video now, and obviously you've got us ladies here, Sandra. Welcome to episode eight. It is episode eight, isn't it? Go. Yeah. And we have special guest Jacoby. Thank you for yeah. driving out here in the wilderness. <laughs> it's a little dry. Uh, it is. It's a little is. rainy too. It so. is. A bit yes. rainy. Yeah. So Welcome. we start every episode off with three random questions you drew before. <laughs> so we would like you to read those questions. Ooh, happy day. All right. Uh, judging by your t-shirt, you'll have absolutely no problem answering all three. Right? Yeah, probably. How do you, do you guys all match with your shades of gray. I'm I know. Just, it's a gray. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just black. I, don't... I wore a black shirt today. What, and everybody wore black. That what's that gray. song on the, uh, which one of these is not like the others? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do the watch party? Figure it. Okay. Okay, read it out loud. Oh, oh he yeah. giggles like a school girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. So it's so uh, where is the best place to hide a dead body? Nice. Mm. Ooh, wow. Hypothetically. Uh, hypothetically, of course. Hypothetically, yeah. We don't think you have a corpse in your trunk. Wow. Unless you do. We're gonna get pulled over. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Best place to hide a dead body? Probably a rock quarry or a pig farm. I got, I got two pig, cousins that have a pig, pig farm. farm. Oh, so really, it is like Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, they I, they, they pigs eat it all. Teeth, nails, whole nine yards. Really? Yeah. Not fascinating. They're pigs. I mean, it's disgusting oh, at the same all, time. That would, that would be my suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Never so thought about if this. any of the, his enemies come up missing, check the pigs. <laughs> Check your all the pig farms. My cousins do not own a pig farm. <laughs> welcome, you guys. Thank you for joining us. I welcome upon and William. So, yes. what are we moving on to the next question? Oh, this is just rat. This is we're just around. easing. Uh, right. Yep. This yeah. is. I should <clears throat> just throw you to the. Wind. This is how we, we start. Just, this is how we start. What was your worst date you ever went on? Ooh. Or you have to tell us the date. Well, there's been a couple. I mean, like. Worst? Yeah. Was there one that you were like cringing to get the hell out of? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. You don't have to give names, of course. We... But that was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're on it. What? Uh, you're on it. Uh, am I? Mm -hmm. Well, no. I'm trying to figure out how. I don't to think you can do it from mine. the. Yes, sorry. We're. Uh, sorry, we're you guys go ahead. ahead. I'm trying to figure out a technology stuff, so you guys go right ahead. Oh my lord. Okay, so so it wasn't thing. a robot that you had a bad date with. It was a live human. No, it was a real life, real life person. So uh, you can't program that. I lived in Houston for five and a half years, and I was down there for about a year and a half, and got my bearings. And my I had I was working the clubs and uh, had a real good job down there. I was, I'm also a welding engineer, so I was, I got on my feet and uh, had a good place and a truck and a bike. And was, was coming up in the world. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll try dating. And these guys <laughs> I'll down just there. Try it. Well, it's like trying the new. Well, it's like I, a ice I was, cream. I, I don't know. I'm gonna I join like, the gym. I'm yeah, gonna like, I sh I've been single for like five years. I don't really date. I'm not no good at relationships. I just I'm not. I have too much shit on my plate going on, and I always if anybody gets in a relationship with me or my last marriage, it's like you never have time for me. So it's like it really sucks to even try. Mm -hmm. I got so many sticks in the fire. It's crazy. So anyway, down there, things kind of calm down. And my friends, uh, they were from Croatia. His name was Nemanja, and his father was named Bobolan, and his brother was named Bobby, but it was also Bobolosti. <laughs> that's that's, a, great, that's great, a mouthful. Great, yes. Great. Anyway, they're like, oh, try this app. And uh, it was called um, OK Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. you guys are already laughing. I'm like, all right. You know. I have, I've only heard the horror stories. <laughs> I've never uh, tried it? Never oh, tried okay. it. Nope. Oh, I deleted it. Sucker, so quick. <laughs> So I want to make this, you know, fuck all profile. Whoops. Can we talk? Yeah. You, oh, yeah. It's okay. Okay. Sorry, yep. sorry I'm used to radio. I'm like, you're sorry. fine. Right on. Okay. So I can look. We don't have the six or seven second delay. Sorry. I'm using the whole 30 seconds. But anyway. <laughs> it's 45, but we're so good. I downloaded this app and made the fuck all profile. Put pictures up. You know, tell us about you. I got a dog and a bike and tattoos. Tell comedy. Blah, blah, blah. You know, just kind of slapped it together. Mm -hmm. Like, brrr, starts going nuts. And I'm like, ooh, oh, all right, I guess I'm cute, you know? Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, like, I filter through all these messages, and I'm on there for a couple of weeks. And uh, this one chick is on there, and she, I start talking with her, and she seems real cool. And one thing led to another. We changed numbers, and we talked on the phone, and we video chatted. And, you know, it got to the point where, all right, let's meet. 
So, like, I really didn't pay, like, I don't date, and I didn't know about the selfie face, and I didn't know about, like, profiles. Like, mm-hmm. I learned this. The, you know. the selfie face? What did it? Okay, so. Just angle. The, this oh, angle? yes. Oh, yes. Up oh, that. I. Everybody okay. looks really good on that angle. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. this angle, and it's like, I have another chance. I do it myself now. I sit at home like, oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Right here. God, that's ugly. You know what I mean? Like, I really didn't know all about this. Like, all her pictures were like that. And yeah, so I, I'm sitting. We go, we, we go to meet up at a bar, and uh, I'm sitting at the bar waiting. And like, I see people coming in, coming in, and coming in. And I see a couple of girls coming in. And I watch this one blonde come in, and I'm like, she's really big. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not trying to down people for, you know, being overweight or whatever, but that's not what your profile says. <laughs> that's not what your picture says. You know what I mean? Yes. So, like, she the comes in, she goes and sits over at the bar, and I'm looking at her, and she's looking at me, and I'm like, Damn it. Well, once you lock eyes, you, yeah. you're done. You're kind of, the conversation has to start, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? She, like, she waves at me, and I'm like. And you're like. <laughs> so, I, I, did, I, I did a nice thing. I went over, and I sat down with her, and I talked with her, and we had a couple of drinks. And, and like, she was like, oh, I got my friends, you know, I'm about having a pool party. You want to go? Oh, God. Sure. <laughs> yeah, there's no water left. Sure. Why That's not? Terrible. Let's go. Who brings uh, a random to their friend's house? Like, I just met this dude. And, uh, hey, come on down. Well, this is where it gets interesting. Right? Okay, can't so wait. It's interesting. Oh, so no. I showed up at this pool party. Oh, that's right. Good. That's never good. <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, what are you going to pull? Come out. Now, this is Houston, Texas. When you say pool party, oh, everybody yeah. down there has a fireplace that they never use. Yeah. They have a pool that they always are at. Yeah. All the time. Always, I don't know yeah. why everybody in Texas has a fireplace. You'll never use it ever. So I show up at this pool party, <laughs> right? And, and I'm the only shrimp in the whole freaking pond. Like they're all her size and bigger, right? And I'm like, I'm You're trying right. to be super nice, right? She's right. like, oh, and she's hanging on me and she's trying to kiss on me. And I'm like, don't let me touch you, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't, I'm a that stupid Facebook shit says, hey, your oh, friends are nearby. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we do keep talking. Just keep well, talking. It has been paused. Uh oh, somebody hit the pause button. Okay. Sorry, one moment. One oh, moment. Yeah. Is it because I joined? No. <laughs> you broke it. Broke it. Okay, you guys just keep talking. Go yeah. with the story. Wait. Yeah. All so right, you on. did. Okay. <laughs> and. Yeah, as soon as it goes back on. <gasps> they interrupted this. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Damn it! <laughs> Nita, you heard that. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Tell him. Okay, we are going to end this, and we are going to try it again. We're gonna try again. Sorry. That reminds me of growing up. Back live. I love it. All right. <laughs> All right. So we we just had. <laughs> What works? Oh, she asked me about what she's doing. Okay. Long, long, long time. Now that we've kicked everybody off the internet except us, <laughs> shall, shall we? Oh talk yeah, about we're back to yeah. So we got let's, your finished story. Let's People will click back in. Yeah. No. Yeah. So you're at the pool party. Yes, she's sir. all over you, trying yeah. to drown you. They're they're drinking heavily. Uh huh. I am not because I'm trying to keep my bearings about myself because that's how stories are made. <laughs> so you know how Facebook has that stupid ass thing where it says, "Hey, your friends are nearby." Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, my friends are nearby. Oh, there are a couple of streets down, or a couple of houses down, in another party. Mm-hmm. And they hit me up, you know, video chat me. Hey, where are you at? And I'm like. In a pool. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, and they're like, man, it says you're like right around the corner. It's like, don't come. Don't come. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, come over to this party. I'm like, all right, cool. So I went over and I tried to play it nice. I tried to play it nice. I said, hey, my friends are over here. A couple doors down. I'm going to go say hi. I'll be back. You know, mm-hmm. like. How your dad says, I'm going for milk and never mm-hmm. comes back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. So I, I snuck off over to the other party. I'm sitting there I'm like, wow. Well, I walk in, my boys are blazing. They're drinking. Hey, I'm like, hey, I was over at this party. You know, I met that chick on the stupid fuck off app you guys told me. And I'm like, how is it? And I'm like, hey, it was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's all right, right? They're like, a bunch of chicks down there. I'm like, yeah, you know, there's a bunch of them down there. Not thinking that they're like, let's go down there. Oh, my God. Ugh, so like, let's go and I'm like, all right, guys, I gotta think something. <laughs> it's not what you think. It's really, it's not gonna be cool. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> and they're like, what? I'm like, no, they're, you know, they're a little drunk and they're a little big. And they're like, I'm <laughs> sorry, right, man. I like big girls. I'm like, okay, all right, you guys want to go? Let's let's go. <laughs> right? Oh god. So by the time I got back there, they were all so drunk they were naked. Oh my God. <laughs> we come walking in and they're like, ah! so that was my first date. I walked into like, it was like 13 or 14 very obese women from the ages of 25 to 40 around in there. There was one hey. chick and her mom that were both running around. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, super fun time. Super, super fun time. Mm -hmm. um, That's how they do it down south. Well, so we have... after we cut out, yeah. then, hey, you, know, my, you know how guys haze each other <laughs> oh, what? What? wait guys haze each other what? All kinds. so we'd be out and about and like this great big old woman would walk by and they're like hey man it's <laughs> right up your alley you know you want them big and so i'm like shut the fuck up <laughs> okay so i learned that's where i learned uh don't trust profile pictures all those right I or that, any of them i was gonna say i think that goes for any, any app, apps app. have you, do you have any experience with the apps well no yeah, what we me. do have one more question you have. oh bro. Now that we've covered pigs and pole parties, yes. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's a whole gamut. We just there's, need there's to mix ones. the pigs and the pool party together and call it a day. Then it was pigs in the pool. You know what I mean? There we go. Look at that. Tied to pigs are <laughs> that segue goes right together. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pigs in the pool. I, I... <laughs> what is the most disgusting thing you've ever had to do? Wow. When? <laughs> you have win. You know, I mean, what day is it? It's, it's Monday, right? That's a good answer. Most disgusting thing I've ever had to do. Um, I mean, I've done some weird shit. Don't get me wrong. I've, I'll try everything else. But like the, the the most disgusting thing I've ever had to do. Uh, I was it was it was bad. So um, I'm a veteran. I was in the army for six oh, thank and a half. Thank you for years. sure. Yep. Um, thank you. Uh, I had to go through ranger training down in Fort Benning, Georgia. I was the first one, 54th Airborne Ranger, two tours in Iraq. So during, like, I'm going to turn this up a little bit this way. Okay. Oh, is that better? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Like, so now they can raise your t-shirt. Yeah, as long as you're uh, yeah, okay, in I'm the camera. Here. I'm still here. Yeah, All right, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, during ranger training, uh, you have to go through three weeks of RIP, right? And it's uh, intensive physical training, and it's... 18 hours a day, seven days a week for 21 days of PT, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just nothing but working out and going, I don't guess really for service mm -hmm. in the way, in service. No, but I have family, so. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's just nothing but that. So you have to do that three weeks to get in and they make you drink a shit ton of water. So I shed like 20 pounds in the very beginning. Just, you show up as a rail, right? So then you have to go through another 12 weeks of ranger training. And at the very end of it, you have your FTX and they send you out in the field with a Bowie knife, and the location of where you should be and beads to count. I've heard of that. Yes, I've that's heard the, of that's that. That's your end of your training. Okay, that's... So you have three days to get somewhere else across this train, and you can't be found. You can't be seen. And there's dudes out there looking for you. Mm -hmm. And you have to hit certain checkpoints and do certain things. Uh, it's a really wow. tough test. Uh, I laid there and peed my pants, went to the bathroom, like hiding in cover so that they wouldn't find me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's two nuts. days out there, I'm fucking hungry right yeah. i'm really fucking yeah. hungry and yeah i don't know you'll do some weird shit when you're hungry <laughs> so here i am out in the fucking woods of fort benning georgia in the middle of sand hill and this fucking rattlesnake comes by <gasps> yeah so i did the thing that you know every man do i whooped it with a stick <laughs> <laughs> nice because i was like if they find me i'll be like snake you know what I mean? <laughs> just throw it out i get, I get a fucking reset button you know what i mean snake <laughs> that's what i was thinking so i whacked it on the head and it died so but smart. it did this this thing <laughs> so you know, that's... snakes do and he whacked them they curl they curl up he finally okay. quit doing oh, that yeah, shit. Yeah. and uh they they I had uh, patrols that were coming by, so I'm laying there, right? This fucking snake is, you know, finally quitting doing that shit. And then they roll on by, and I'm like, I'm fucking hungry. So I remember watching these videos where you could like peel them, and mm -hmm. uh, I ate that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Did it taste like chicken? It it tastes like chewy bubble gum. Like the, 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 the texture was like old bubble gum with no flavor. And that was oh. uncooked though. Oh yeah, I didn't cook. I couldn't cook. Oh, okay. yeah. well, I mean, I there's no salmonella or anything like that. I it's like it. freshly killed. You said it was a rattlesnake though. I, I rattlesnake. cut it way back behind the head. Oh. You know what I mean? I didn't suck the fangs. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you let me don't know where all like the poison comes from. Like, I'm pissed, I'm going out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I ate a fucking rattlesnake. 
Oh, that is gross. Right. At least you know you can survive in a desert. Well, the, the other side of that story is when you eat a raw snake, shit gets stuck up inside. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was throwing up, puking. I shit through a screen door that day. It was just straight fucking water. My venom. Yeah, like the venom. Yeah, it was. It passed right through me. Yeah. So this is why we cook our food. <laughs> <laughs> That's so oh my god, that's great. Right? <laughs> Respect. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, now reporters uh, down the road, uh, when you get interviewed, this mm -hmm. will come up somehow and will be one of the most badass stories out there. Right, right. A snake. Right. A snake, yes. It, it kind of tastes like McDonald's. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, I don't know that I want that in my head now that I... I can see the mental image of you like... Yeah, so we want... We want yeah. Um, Pigs to pools to snakes. Look at this. Right, it's all over the board. It's all about stuff today. <laughs> yes, it is. So... How'd you get into comedy? Because we, you're a local comedian. Well, so touring, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I live here. Right. Uh, I took a four year hiatus and I've been back for a little over a year. So that's where it's at. Um, I got started in comedy. I always wanted to be a comedian. My mom, she would sit around and way back, this is going to show you how fucking old I am. <laughs> she would sit around and we'd rent the beta tapes from the big local video store down the way, and George Carlin. Nice. And Bill Cosby, I mean, she, she was a Beta. big, big Carlin and Cosby it. fan. Um, and she read all these stand-ups. Uh, Richard Pryor, oh, he did. Of course. I, I, I saw those when I was a little kid. So I was like, man, these guys are super cool. I always mm -hmm. wanted to be one. So like for my, I think it was like my fifth or sixth birthday, this is how fucking old I am. Uh, she bought me the Bill Cosby himself. Remember when he did his Bill Cosby himself? Way before the whole mm. roofie shit, back when he, before <laughs> even the Cosby's. <laughs> And Bill was cool, and he had uh, the stand-up on HBO and Showtime that was Bill Cosby himself. Mm -hmm. She got that for me on a record to where I, wow. I had to listen to it in my room. Yeah. And halfway through the set, I had to flip it, it over <laughs> yes. to listen to it. I listened Final. to it so many times that I memorized it word for word. Really? And I would stand in my room in front of a mirror holding like a, a brush or something. <laughs> like, I was a mic. And I would do his set, and my mom come in one time, and she saw me do it, yeah. mm -hmm. and she's like, she was like blown away because I like I had his mannerisms down and because mm -hmm. I'd and watched him so many times and listened to it so many times it was in my head. So for Thanksgiving, she told me she would buy, she would let me open an early Christmas present if I stood on the table and did his set in front of a whole family, and she let me cuss and everything. I was like six years old. I oh, was excited. She, uh, you were had, acting. Yeah, they had the old camcorder out that had like oh, the cord and yeah. the cable, and like there was a generator or something. <laughs> and it's like he's like, oh, you know, whining the fuck. Yeah, there's a there's footage out there somewhere, like eight million years old, me doing it. I've That's seen right. it before over the, over the years. I have no idea where it's at right now. <sighs> but yeah, it started there, and then. When I was in, I was always trying to, I was doing open mics when I was 15, all the way up until I was 18. And then when I got in the service, everybody knew I had a mouth. You guys, I, I don't really want you to shut the fuck up. It's part of it. He just <laughs> hit me with something and tell me to be quiet. <laughs> No, so this like, is perfect. Yeah, yeah keep no, going. please. We yeah. love we'll, we'll chime in. Yeah. <laughs> so, like in basic training, I was roster number 303 when I first got there. And within three days, I got the nickname Mailman because I always delivered. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they called me was the mailman because anybody would pick a fucking subject and i'd have a joke in my head my uncle always told me jokes it was it, i have a billion of them in my you pick a subject right now i got five of them it's weird and i can't remember i put my fucking key but i can remember every goddamn joke <laughs> i lose my pot all the time and it goes in the same fucking spot that's a good pot it's on the porch my motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so when we would go to like our ranges, we'd have to go with like qualify our weapons or go out mm -hmm. and learn how to use claymore mm -hmm. or go out and do hand to hand combat. Anyway, what the, what the best part of basic training was, is they would get you up at old dark fucking 30 in the morning, like 3.30 in the morning, get up, get your bunk made, get all fucking cleaned up, shaved, get, get out there and be in formation. And then they'd march us like 20 fucking miles down the road in the middle of fucking nowhere with all this gear that we're not gonna fucking use, you know? <laughs> I, you know, I'm out there, I'm in my mouth, I'm always tough cussing, like, why the fuck are we doing this? <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna learn to survive carrying this bullshit? And, you know, they'd come over and make me do push-ups a lot of the time. But anyway, I would always get in trouble, so by the time we got out there, hi everybody, by the time we Nick, got- Nick, sir, sorry. We love you, Nikki. <laughs> hi, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> six? Fuck yeah, I love you, dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing the death up. 
Yeah. 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 So, uh, like, we'd get out to the ranges. We would get there, like, three hours before the instructors ever got there because they marched us out there way fucking early, and then we'd just sit there. And so they'd be like, Private Ryan, get your ass up here. And make me get up for him. Tell jokes till somebody gets here. It's three fucking hours. You know what I mean? Like, I learned how to make people laugh. <laughs> so I, I would stand up there for hours and hours, and I'd have other people oh, come wow. up and do jokes. Yeah. So it started there. And then when I finally came home from service, um, Chris Sloman, the guy that does the Wicked Circus with mm-hmm. me, uh, him, uh, Isaac Daniels, you guys know him. They, it was way back when it wasn't uh, Morty's, it was Funny Bone. It was oh. right when I came, it was like 2004, 2005 when it was Funny Bone. And mm-hmm. I just came home from service, and they're like, hey, man, we want to go to a comedy club. I'm like, right, fuck on, let's go. Right. So I hop in the car, and they're they're being weird. They're like, you know, like. You never be around your friends and you're like, you mm-hmm. clearly drop something. You know, right? Like, yes. y'all, you get that eerie feeling. You like, just know. Yep. Like, something's going to sneak in my butt real quick. <laughs> I know I my feel sons you. are dirty mm-hmm. people. <laughs> <laughs> They're just happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we get to the comedy club, right? And we walk in, and me and Chris are the only two white guys in the whole place. Mm-hmm. It's an all black show. No big deal, right? So we go walking in, we sit down, and we order drinks. I'm like, hey, man, I got his bathroom. So I get up, I go to these bathrooms. You know, they have flyers above, well, you're a dude. There's flyers above <laughs> yours. You know, you got, you well, there's, they're, they are uh, in women's restrooms, too. Yeah. They're, I thought they'd be on, like, the back of the door. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Hurdles? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, China. I mean the holes. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, you guys are rugged. You just one leg it up on the urinal. <laughs> I tried that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm sitting there taking a pistol in there, and I'm, there's a flyer right in my face. <laughs> And it says, if you're as funny as your friends think you are, try signing up for Jumbo's Comedy Workshop, HB Presents Comedy Competition. And I'm like, huh. And I look at the date, and it's fucking today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you motherfucker. So right. you found out while you were in the bathroom yeah. taking a piss. Yeah. So I come and <laughs> That's I, sit, epic. I sit down with him, and I look above, I'm like, this is a comedy contest. And I, I you know, guys, no, I, he's like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I looked over at Crystal, and he's like, he just starts laughing. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck did you guys do, right? So we're sitting there, and I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Then the announcer comes on. He comes up on stage, and he's like, Welcome to the fucking comedy, blah blah blah. Introducing fucking Jacoby Ray. No! <laughs> so I, you were first up. I, very first, I was the only oh. white guy in the whole competition. There was. It's a nice it, way to ease the crowd. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean. Like, it was so a whole black week. celebration. I think Black Expo was going on, and they just tossed my fucking white ass on stage. <laughs> I remember going up there. He handed me the mic. He goes, give me seven minutes. And I'm like, uh, I don't know what seven minutes is. You know what I mean? At that mm-hmm. time, I was like, Fuck, I have no idea what that is. So I just got up there, and I started making fun of myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's the best thing you can do in a, a, a room full of black people. Like, you say something <laughs> wrong, you shot like that. You know what I, was, I mean? Yeah. I can say neighbor, and they would be like, what the fuck did you say? No, neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. Not, no, you know what I mean? But I did it, and I uh, I won that night, and then I won 13 other rounds, and then the next thing I know, three months or three weeks later, I was on the road with John Fox down in Louisville, Kentucky, and he was like the best man in my wedding. Me and him toured together oh, for like wow. four years together before he passed away. Oh, yeah, it sucked. Mm-hmm. It sucked losing him. But that's how it started. <laughs> yeah, that's a huge start. So, yeah, that's I mean, basically sink or swim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So yeah. your friend signed you up at an all black mic, and because <laughs> of your white privilege, you won. Oh! <laughs> Those dots oh, were shit. way too easy to connect, but I didn't see. No, them. Like, I was waiting. I was trying to figure out. I'm like, this is gonna piss people off. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. I was thinking of nice. you know, I mean, you know, there's never a scenario where a bunch of, like a black guy comes back from service, and him and his black friends are like. Let's go, yo, let's go sign Jerome up for this white <laughs> mic. And, you know, as a joke. No, but black people don't do that shit. Oh my God. <laughs> they know better. That's why white people are lame. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. But congratulations. We are happy. You just totally got roasted. <laughs> no, no, no. I, that was good, though. I've never felt some racism in my whole life. <laughs> Oh, shit, that man. I love her. I was like, wow, I'm proud of myself. Now I feel like I'm 
I don't have an agenda. I just try to find like whatever. No, it's perfect. Oh my we gosh. Got, so we've got yeah. We don't have any questions. Well, so we have. Far. Yeah, you guys. But we got a buddy answer. on there. Hello. Never Hello. Met the buddy. Buddy is buddy is actually my new, well my son's Nana. Oh, lovely. But, yeah, we have a lot of viewers. You guys. Yeah, we do. Welcome. We answer questions real time. Uh, oh yes, please go ahead and start asking your questions. Yep. Ask Uncut, away. unedited, uncensored. <laughs> and, Are you scared about that now? <laughs> Now I feel like I'm all privileged. That was my truck. So you, <laughs> you almost killed yourself. You're a here. survivor. Yeah. yeah, right. We're in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? Right? No. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere, Indiana, for people that aren't from the U.S. Yeah, it's crazy. But it's what? quiet, peaceful. Yes. No, I do like this road, this big windy road See up there. I'm so going to get the bike out and bring it right up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. loves riding up and down this road. I didn't know this existed out here. This is cool. Yeah. How was Iraq? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just out of curiosity. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Sandy. It's really cold at night. It's very cold at night, and they have these. It's like uh, Burning Man. Kind of, yeah. Except for you know, for, minus. It wasn't fun. <laughs> I'm after Burning Man. No, I rap. Burning Man was fun, I think, from what I remember. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> later footage. Uh, Wake up, sword. Wear your pelvises. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing, like, one thing that's weird about, like, we were, I was in Fallujah in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. They had uh, camel spiders. You guys ever been around camel spiders? Yeah. No. Was, for, I've seen only photos of them. They bury it's themselves weird. in the sand, and they're the size of fucking hubcaps on your car. <gasps> and when they come up, ooh, God, I'm, I don't like spiders. Like, I'm the toughest <laughs> dude in the world. I walk on a cobweb. <laughs> I'm, I turn I'm with you. I'm pussy. a pussy, too. Oh, yeah. Just, just yeah, yeah, yeah. get it off. I can't. I can smush them, but if I miss them and they run, I'm burning the fucking house down. Do you still <laughs> wax snakes? Um, I'm thinking that was an ending window. Brent <laughs> Lee would like to know if you wax or will wax his state. Do you still wax snakes? <laughs> well, you know, $20 <laughs> Maybe is $20, right? Yeah. I'll see you in the trees. Ah, <clears throat> uh, flight attendant thingy. Okay. Favorite, um... Flight attendant thing. What's that? Yeah, I have a favorite flight, flight Yeah, yeah. You've done uh, a lot of like you've flown on probably a lot of different aircrafts. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, but the I'm talking about like just regular flight. Uh, any, any, <laughs> okay. what comes to mind? I'm fascinated so, by. I, I was doing zanies in Chicago, and I had to fly out of there to fly to Miami, mm -hmm. and I got stuck on the tarmac there at O'Hare. And this is, I took a red eye flight. So I boarded at like 3.30 in the morning when nobody um, was fucking there. So we get out on the tarmac and the plane all of a sudden has a fucky fuck problem. Right? A fucky fuck problem? Fucky fuck. Something's wrong with the engine. They're like, oh yeah, we're, not, we're definitely, we're we don't like, want to get on a move. fucky there's fuck a, plane. There's people, they show up with <clears> those little fucking cars and ladders and they started <laughs> tinkering with shit. Yes. And, okay, so I'm a dude, right? At 5 a.m. Really? every morning. Yeah, every morning. I poop. 5 a.m. <laughs> Oh, you're like, thank you for yeah, yeah. Yeah. Work. yeah. Thanks for sharing. You guys are welcome for that. <laughs> yeah, we're glad your congestion so works. I boarded at 3 30. We're on a tarmac for like two and a half hours, right? And That's... they got the seatbelt sign on because you're on a tarmac. You can't get up, can't walk around, can't go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there and I'm fucking, I'm dying. Like, <laughs> this, this is going, this, I don't care who, who says this is going down, right? And I'm trying, I, I wave at the, the stewardess and she comes over and I'm like, I really, have, she's like, they're almost done. Just can you wait? And I'm like, no. As soon as you give me the green light, if anybody's in my way down there, I'm a fucking spear. I'm a water boy the fuck who was ever trying to get to that bathroom. Like, it's bad. So we sit there, and it's like another 15, 20 minutes. And I'm one sneeze away from fucking my socks up. You know what I mean? It's there. I'm afraid to even talk loud. If I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's loose. It's loose. It's loose. So I come up, she, I wave at her again, and she comes over, and she's like, I'm sorry, sir, I, I just can't let you up. I said, all right, you just do me a favor. I said, you go up there, and you go to waiter station where you guys have all the shit. You go get as many towels and rags and fucking Kleenex and I'm gonna baby give you wipes. Another fucking By the time you get back here, me and you got some fucking business. And she looks at me, and she goes, is it that bad? And I went, I'm about to shit your seat right now. Like, right. <laughs> oh, and shit. everybody here's going to watch it. The bathroom's right there. We're not going anywhere. Let me go right she's like okay go so i get up i run down the fuck i mean i'm like people hear me they're like go bro go <laughs> and they're clearing the aisle right so i get to the very fucking end because the the shitter is at the end of the, it's in yeah, the back of the plane right and i get to the end and there's this whole family 
of Indian, the dot not feathery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not the natives. Not the natives, but the, you know, yes. 7 Elevens, however you want to call them. <laughs> What? I don't I, I have right. friends that are like, yeah, Simpsons. I heard Dot Not Feather from an Indian guy. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say anything. <laughs> There's a whole family. You're just white privilege. It's just solidifying it. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just keep digging it. No, yeah. I'm going to have so many less followers. <laughs> or more. Yeah, you reached no, a no. new demographic. Yeah. I can't wait for this shit to just work. Yeah. This is live, right? It is live. Yeah. <laughs> Smell the racism them. through your phones. Right uh -huh. now. Yeah. So there's a whole family down there. And I mean, they're like three or four kids. And the, the wife, she's got the burk on. And he's got you know, the great big beard with the, you know, the turban. And they're sitting just opposite of where the door is. Like, here's the last of the seats, and then here's their seats, and here's the bathroom door. Like, it's happening. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? If you guys didn't notice when I walked in the door, I'm six foot two. I'm not a small guy. I'm big lanky. So I go there, and I rip the door open, and I get stuck inside. <laughs> and, like, my head's all crooked, and I'm like, this is going to happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I drop trial. I didn't even look at the seat because it was just, it was that, it was happening. I go to sit down. I sit down and like I'm shooting it out of my ass as I'm sitting down. It's that bad. Just brah, and my sit down and my knees go out and hit that door and the door opens. Oh! <laughs> now that is some fetish yeah. door nobody wants to and see. And it's like it's still like. Oh! And I'm like, oh god! You know what I mean? I'm trying to shut the door and things are happening and they're. Oh, durga, 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 durga. And, uh, I don't know what they said, but it was not pleasant. And I'm in there like, I'm so sorry. Well, probably it smells like curry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I smell some white privilege right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, so I, I shit on an Indian family. And <laughs> with, <laughs> with. Uh, yeah, it was so close, it could have held my hand. Yeah, yeah. It helped you through it. Talked you. Through the, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's uh, my worst. Well, apparently so you're a big you, hit in the heart. <laughs> there was a girl. Um, she was okay. smuggling drugs from like Mexico, a bunch of cocaine. She had it in her. It was heroin, maybe. I don't know. It's, I don't it's, know. Heroin or coke. She was a mule. And she ended, um, drug mule, and she ended up getting like really bad food poisoning. So she was like, sh like had diarrhea horribly, and the bitch, like an idiot, shoved all the drugs up her ass, and then tried to get on the plane. Made it through security, was at the gate, and I guess just shit it out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what you know. <laughs> Well, yeah, you guys have another meat wallet. We know. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's they don't check the pussy at the gate. <laughs> Ideally, you we, should, but I thought we're totally talking about out. smuggling drugs. Wow. No, you're not. Yeah. Oh, you are actually. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, Did you just catch up? The text like bond. It's not looking for coke. No, no, that's why you go <laughs> to the one that they spray you. Wait. Spray you? They spray you? No, you know when they do the light air. What? That machine that you stand like this. Oh, yeah. That yeah. yeah. happened. That's yeah. a spray it's, of air. No, well, that, that, that makes me feel dirty when you get stuck in that because you know just, like, that that spray. Feel, that's as close yeah. to, you know, x ray vision as you can get. But yeah. the, those machines, they make you stand in. Like, oh, oh, I took uh, drugs. I think I brought Molly and weed back to the plane. Sure. And I <laughs> put <laughs> my pussy in there. I've, I've, I've gone through the puffer machine. I've gone through the x ray. No, that is so epic. I speak so. Bag and they're just like whatever water they don't they don't they just let me go oh no one is me yeah fuck the whole pharmacy down there yeah. I brought an ice cream cone through one time no one shit. I mean I guess it was oh, less like it no I'm bothered they just you can go ma'am you're good they just don't don't drug, drug meals don't make enough I don't know did you make a pretty good bag there what did you make pretty good bank? Oh, <laughs> not cream? a mule. Not with the ice cream. Well, I'm not. Oh no! I, I oh, wait. Just, I why would you stick an ice cream cone up your ass? No, like, I, I, I was eating ice cream and they let me through. Oh, well, I thought you like. That's I, not, no, no, no! Why would you? Just, <laughs> that's oh, what I thought you're you're a doing. Tour, no. you were doing. You were sick You would get. That's how you get a yeast infection. Yeah. What dairy up there? I was with you. That's what I thought. No, I was with you. I was just like, oh, she's going through with like.
because you're not allowed to carry anything like. Oh, it's carry on. <laughs> 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 like, they don't let you bring like. It's, carry it's on. so you simple. Talk to extra you're only allowed to carry on <laughs> items. You're like, work it for the team. We're doing it. Man. <laughs> I paid thirty five for another bag. Fuck that shit. Oosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're just fucking oh. wrong right now. Oh. <laughs> marvelous every angle. <laughs> oh, I got. I had, oh my! I was flying back from LA. What? I was on American. Yeah, it would be and I had my fuck. I I got. I had my carry on. When? And then I waited a <laughs> flight. And then this like yes. bitchy air flight attendant is just like. Uh, we have to check all the bags. I'm like, what, what, what do you mean? She's like, the plane's full. I'm like, there's no way. No, go. you're like, I'm not letting go. And then I'm like, well, I I want to make sure that like, like my life is in here. Like this is my yes. this is the shit that I can't live without. And she's like, it's fine, it's fine. And then so I get on the plane, all the bins are open, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a second, you just <laughs> took my bag from me. All these bins are open. What's going on? She's like, well, the computer says. I'm like, what do you mean the computer says? Like. You have eyes. You just go on the airplane and you go walk. Like, why are you listening to a goddamn? And I'm like, and if the computer said so, then why was I even able to bring it through security in the first place? Like, you guys need to get your shit together. Yeah, you need to communicate. And then the whole time I'm sitting. And then I have to sit there and like watch it on the side of the car back. I'm like, hello, does anyone want to get my bag? And like, then they get mad at me and they're like, man, we're gonna need to come back down. I'm like, go get my shit. Yeah, sorry. I don't like flying. You're always good for that. So angry. <laughs> yes, very passionate so, no, why about. Why are you lying? I'm like the, the computer said so. Like you, you can see. Like why you're listening to the computer? Like, this is wrong. Yes. Well, it's just like I don't know what to do here. It's like they didn't teach me this. Air, air. I watched the safety video that gave me this vest for fuck's sake. And I know how to not sexually harass you. Yeah. Qualified for that. You know, no sexual. They, yeah, they know how to not to sexually harass oh, yeah. you. Yeah, that's the only thing they can. Do properly. Yeah. They killed the puppy. That was yeah, crazy. That was crazy. Killed the puppy. What, yeah, what? puppy suffered. That's so sad. Yeah, I don't the, want to talk about that. Puppy. Don't talk about puppy. No, it's crazy. Your puppy is awesome. What kind of person <laughs> says, "Ma'am, we're gonna take your dog that you paid to bring on, and we're gonna put it in the overhead bin, and then it died"? But like, what kind of person doesn't say, "Fuck you"? It's my dog. I paid to keep. It. Where there's a disconnect going on. Like yeah. they got some yeah. Yeah. They, they couldn't put their threaten. dog in overhead bin. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, the like, minute the minute that plane took off, my dog would be back under my seat. Like I, yeah, there needs to be more of that going on in this country. I didn't I even know you could put an put animal. Put on. No, exactly. because it clearly states that when you pay for your pet, that they just have to be in a container that is small enough to go underneath your seat. <laughs> and as long as it fits, then they cannot. <laughs> <That's> terrible. <laughs> Why you should put your dog up your? You should put all your essentials. essentials. So you don't have to have a carry-on. That would, that would make for a fuzzy There's pussy. Not <laughs> There's not <laughs> enough. Violet's more like Colgate. <laughs> <laughs> it's minty fresh. That would be crazy. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Are your pants too tight? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I keep fucking giggling with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make your pants tighter? I don't, I don't like know. I just made them. Is there like some kind of something going on? <laughs> 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 yeah. I just been a dry streak, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Won't even sneeze around me. Do <laughs> 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 you hear that? <laughs> I heard that. No, we're back to the like, What was again. that? An orgasm? <laughs> what? Yeah. Let's do it again. Oh I, do, I do like these No Booty Chronicles on Facebook. Oh. And, uh, we'll have to look that I up. I do it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. You guys are on TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh, I did one the other day. And it, and instead of, I went shopping today at Kroger. Lady sneezed behind me in line. I had an erection for four and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. I don't, do, I don't do TikTok, but I just found out my daughter has a TikTok. I'm like cleaning and doing dishes, and I look over, and my kid has her stupid phone like up against something. She has like a shower rod, and she's like over here like singing. Like, what the hell are you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm making a video, and I'm posting it. I have my bong. He's like sitting on the table. There's like a direct line. I'm like, you can't do that. Like you do that. And she's, she's like, I thought she's like, what, well, mom? Yeah, she's I've like, got hey, more Insta like followers like than you. She's like, I thought you said weed's well, like, and it's okay. It's not a drug. I'm like, yeah, not oh in my God, in this. Like, they will take you away. <laughs> But no, can people no, message? Like, is there like messaging? Yeah. So like, somebody can message her and be like, "Hey, what's you up?" Mean, you need to monitor. God it. damn it! Oh, it's like <laughs> oh, wait, how old is she? Nine. Yeah. You Whoa. Have, uh, get her. But all of her. Get her off of it. Yeah. It's horrible. I look. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm on it. it. Look. <laughs> I got 73,000 dollars. I don't have time for all this shit. Yeah, I do right. dumb videos. Trust me. There's a lot of things, but like, if she's on TikTok, there's three things that'll happen. 
Grace, I got a TikTok. And now her, she has friends you never on there. Have that sex gonna... talk. She's got a TikTok. Track? I don't know. No, no, no. Oh, did right. you just say she doesn't need to have the sex talk nope. she's on TikTok? <laughs> what, what are they doing? Go through five videos. Oh, <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> Reddit, right? So are we like it's mobile like porn? it's like musically it's like you can lip sync and you yeah videos, yeah you can make your own very artistic and you yeah. can edit well that and... doesn't sound scary though no 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 but the no but videos... you understand that anybody out there has a TikTok right now there's a guy that's following me and his name is Clowns and Blood <laughs> I'm not even kidding you okay he does duets with me all the time with Clown and Blood and yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah no that won't be and freaky girls to a nine there, year old. there's a lot of girls on there wearing not so revealing stuff and TikTok takes those videos down but they'll hit the page and you'll see them before they get taken down mm. that's i've seen every part of everybody if you think it's vulgar that's concerning. that's looking, like, yeah i, like, know. I wouldn't let my if my kids were that age i wouldn't let them there. it's I, I, I but there's no way for you to know I'll, I'll have to take it off i mean yeah. i monitor but, what she does but i didn't know she had a TikTok. I mean, yeah no she's... it's really i don't know it's really easy to download and it's not um oh yeah you can just download i used to have it set up to like anything that, that she would, would alert do. you i would get an alert and i could say no but yeah so i need to get that back okay. on. It's, technology is no, advancing like, too quickly for parents to keep, keep up yeah that's and there's no mood. like there's no parent parental mode or that's you can you can yeah. link your phone it used to be linked to like an ipad and i just haven't been able to like get it so yeah it's Ask. Yeah, but anybody can send you a message and anybody can comment on it. You can make it all private, but I was people, trying, that's people what can I, still find you. You know what I mean? And there's a whole big thing online where they're, they're finding all these pedophiles. On oh, I t- that's what I told her. I'm like, you you know what's yeah. going to happen? Some dirty old man. And I, I just flat out saying, like, he's going to rape you and kill you. You're done. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, see that creep? You know, I mean, like, they're going to rape you. That's just, yeah. No, I mean, that's, well, that's, that's, pretty pretty about like, that's it, that is yeah. absolutely the what you say. I'd yeah. imagine as a like, parent, I don't sugarcoat that. I'm not surprised. I respect that a lot because that's why can people just I be happy with porn? That. I know, but we just oh. so sick. Well, because they're mm. mentally, they're it's they're that's they that's how they're born that way. It's their dysfunction. They're yeah. fixing them. No, no there is. You put a bullet in their head. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, 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 but unfortunately, we don't believe in capital punishment. Cheers. Well, who, no, who does I mean, I mean, we, what we need is what is, do you mean? Indiana's a death penalty state. Public execution. Most states are public. Or most. The- <laughs> 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 oh, right. <laughs> oh, I'm like, you're like, yes, I'm bring it back. back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Something's no. melting down there in that pussy. You're getting <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, yeah, no, I. Most states have death penalty. I think yeah. there's some that are. Well, yeah, no, but I mean, like, public execution. Like, I'm down. Like, by hangings, <laughs> like, pedophiles. Look. We take pedophiles, you put it on late night, 11 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Some motherfuckers pay like $250 like a USC fight, right? Mm-hmm. Bullseye up there with numbers on it, 50, 100, 150, by all the way out, right? Gamble on which one he's going to hit. Strap him back in a catapult, brick wall, fling, <laughs> two birds, one stone. Look, the odds <laughs> in Vegas, we can fucking fix everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's a, yeah. I'm just saying. Oh, disincentive. I'm just that saying. would commit agents, crimes. You start, look, you start hanging people and doing that shit. People act right. <laughs> people will act fucking right. They want to know what we're Nobody drinking. Nobody needs to be drinking anything there, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. We right. are. Uh, it's called uh, common water. sense. And water. water. Lots of water. Well, stay I put, hydrated I put a, drug mules. I put a <laughs> little rookie in it, so that's why we're going to get through. I doubled it because you. I like you I like to joke routine. with people like that. I'll sit by a couple at a at, at a bar, oh, um, and good. then I would like get up and like to go to the bathroom, <laughs> so and I'd turn to them both and I'd be like, "Can you guys watch my drink?" Like after we've already established conversation, and I let the bartender, well, whatever. But I'm like, and then the guy, of course, the first one to be like, "Oh no, no, of course, of course, I'm not." And I was like, I was like, "Don't roofie it," and he was like, "No, no, no," and I'm like, "No, I'm talking about her." <laughs> <laughs> Make him feel so uncomfortable. No, I. They laugh. They laugh. Good sport. It's like great. Oh, just a little bit of roofie. I'm just gonna get a little sleep. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, do you have any? <laughs> Can I get a double dose? Yeah. <laughs> so how'd, you, how'd you guys fare the weather down here yesterday? Um, you mean on Saturday? You mean on the Saturday, tornado yeah. warning? Yeah. I was you know driving it missed. into I was driving we went to Jokers. Into Jokers. Yeah, and I was driving we, from Fisher's It was all south. coming down. And like by the time I watched this was <laughs> Fucking sucked. I'm sorry. I had I parked in the garage next to Jokers, right? Mm-hmm. And I had to walk the half a block. 
pouring rain. By the time I made it into the building, I was wearing a white tank top with a black bra, yeah. but I had, <laughs> I was drenched. I mean, I literally was dripping. She was a bad kind of wet. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it was from head to toe, and I'm like trying to get this guy to give me a towel because I'm we're like 20 minutes or something before time to go on and i'm like oh my god is my makeup melting off my face <laughs> it was terrible I mean, you it was... killed it though thank you but you didn't dry off quick enough i did not dry off quick no enough. they no, at least I they was... gave you a t-shirt yeah, yeah i had to i had to cover up or i was gonna i was like fucking white i knew it was raining <laughs> that was that's the retarded. best <laughs> <laughs> that's just everybody's luck when that happens but you got nailed yeah oh yeah uh, scary how hard <laughs> <laughs> from which, <time? laughs> which door because they did it with while i yeah. was driving it it's beach grove was beach getting grove. Uh, my, my dad's house got hit really bad <gasps> really oh, i'm sorry. sorry we were out there it was me and 12 of my cousins we have a huge family <laughs> congratulations not really <laughs> <laughs> big family suck every time i go to christmas i'm like who the fuck are all you <laughs> Cause they go make make more people during the year they come back and i've divorced her and married her and now we got six other kids like jesus fucking christ i don't even buy shit for people anymore i sell candy out of the way <laughs> <laughs> i love you guys uh, <laughs> so uh my house took a little bit of damage but it was from the alro building over in uh just like a couple miles away it ripped the roof off of a great big oh, manufacturing scary. building mm -hmm. and flung it two miles and we had debris and insulation mm -hmm. and sheet metal and shit my dad's house the only thing that really got hit was the front left corner of the house a tree came down and mm -hmm. hit the deck but it sheared off the power <gasps> and all the lines wow. come in one side oh so they right. restored power but he's still without power until they, they said it'd be wednesday so they could redo it oh that sucks but then he's got two and a quarter acres behind him and it's all we got trails cut through there we've got mm -hmm. we do haunted stuff for the kids in the, in oh, the halloween it's, nice. it's, it's super cool uh, so like we attached it to the four street trails and it took us like all summer to build it but it, the tornado came right through there and hit regent's bank and through the bank into my dad's yard oh, and then seven that's where the money yeah, yeah it was just a route we were all looking for the fucking money no <laughs> really no money not a damn oh, thing gosh that you see no, now that's that's a, that's a secure bank that is a very no that's a tease don't make the regions you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 But it, 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 I've got it in for them. It, it hit the Taco Bell next door too. The Taco Bell got tore up. But Did you give a taco? No, the Red Cross came They were flinging tacos. Yeah. <laughs> Where were? I'm sorry. I didn't even know there was a tornado. <laughs> oh, well, so I I'm, I go to so IUPUI, like, so I get all alerts from I I you. You, you posted. I had no yeah, idea. They didn't until, do this. No, I just yeah, but I, we just sit they there do alerts. Phones went, oh, you know that emergency alert, mm -hmm. you know shit shit system, and it goes off. And I'm looking at the TV, and my dog starts running around the house. They're like, oh, now it's gonna hit. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And I'm like, oh, it's a storm. And then like. Apollo, my dog, he's an American bully. He stops and looks at me like dead in the face. And he's like, dude. And just pees right there on the floor. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you're, you're so house broken. What is this? And here it comes. I'm like, scary. dude, he knew it was coming. No, you know yeah, I mean? animals hear that. They get the pressure and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah they, they are very <laughs> sensitive to it. Yeah. My dad's fine. My little brother's fine. That's good. Uh, right. They took a little bit of damage to the house. And then, like, he's got all those woods out there. So there was, like, 17 huge-ass trees down. So there was, like. 11 of us out there with chainsaws hacking shit up yesterday for hours the american red cross came by twice and fed us and then the firefighters we gave kept giving them water and then they came back by and brought us a case of beer nice <laughs> was like we had Thumbs this great up. big fire yes yeah, thank you for yeah, yeah they were cool. so it sounds like you need to have a huge bonfire oh we already did we burned oh. a lot of it but if y'all need some fucking wood <laughs> We got shit stacked in my dad's well, backyard. Well, not necessarily the kind of wood. Yes. <laughs> what? Speak for yourself. I want to burn one down. My neighbors in my, like, the house you that grew up Okay. Oh, I love, no, they have a, like, there's woods. It's up in guys. And there's a cemented oh. pit. Like, That's a cemented okay. pit yeah, that you throw, a, like, a picnic table hole in. Yeah. And you burn. just burn it. She'll get it next oh. week. We got a great big pit, too. You'll get it next week. It takes Please. you about a week to catch up. It does, actually. There's a delay. You know, about like the 45 second delay. Mine's like seven days. <laughs> it took her a whole week. Yeah. Excuse me. The a whole week for the soup. A whole week. I know. Mm -hmm. For the soup. Yeah, we had it. It was a joke. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us about, wait, Netflix. 
Yeah. We've heard about Netflix. I've so heard what about you, Netflix, yeah, but what, I, There's three things going on Netflix in 2020. Are yeah. you allowed to disclose yet? Or, or what? Can talk about? Some, I, I can, the okay, movie, sure. I can kind of give you a little bit about. The okay. awesome wall comedy, I can. And then the Wicked Circus stuff, I can say it's everything but tour dates right now. Okay. Exciting. Uh, yeah. Very exciting. Fun. And then we're also working on one where I'm getting my own stand-up special alone, which they're working on. So that'd be four things that will pop up next year, which is going to be really cool. Uh, the movie... Um, I can't disclose the name. I can't disclose the name of it here. Right. <laughs> no, Will it be I, available? On... Uh, it's, it's going straight to Netflix. Okay. It's, it's made by fantastic. Netflix. Yes. Uh, Love all the Netflix movies. Anybody else? Netflix uh, movies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm hooked on. I watch it all. I don't even really watch TV. I'll no. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I have one of those little vape pens when I lay in bed, and I'll be like, "Oh, this is fucking." Super glue 420. Let's check this stupid shit. And whatever the fuck it's called. They, put, they give them like banana ram up over there, whatever names they are. Okay. So I'll turn on like episode one, season one, like this looks like a good series. Hit like four. <laughs> bam! Wake up and it's like, are you still watching Netflix? Oh, oh that's Ooh. I think the lightning is uh yeah speaking. That's to okay. Us. We have we should be fine <laughs> on battery backup, so we're good. We got a generator. We got this place on lockdown. <laughs> She's like, mess we got around. Batteries. <laughs> so a whole Netflix movie. Yeah. Um, I, can't, I can't disclose the name of it now. I can't. All right. So it's called Last Chance. I can say that much. I can't say who else is in it besides me. Okay. But I can give the premise of the movie because the trailer is going to come out here in like a week. Okay. We're excited. Yes, yeah. this is perfect timing. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. I'm just going to sit at home and jerk off. This is way better. Oh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. <laughs> Glad you could take time well, out of the valuable day. Yeah, it's this so is schedule. You know, I was joking about it. I'm like, you know, thanks. Hey, these, Lance. These, these phones Speaking of whacking right? off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't oh say God. anything. I just... Okay, so the movie. Yeah. The premise right, of the right. movie. So premise, premise. All right, so it's called Just Cause, and the premise of the movie is um, there's a boy band back in the early 90s, and I'm one of the members, and all the other Of a members, boy band. Of a boy band. But they have a guy playing me, and is a very younger version of me, which is fucking insane how close these little doppelgangers look. And how they <laughs> like, I don't know, I was like, do I owe you child support? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 was it was crazy how they found these people, and they did it for all of us, all six of us. There's six of us in the group, and we had like a one hit wonder back in the early 90s, 91, 92. We had a flash in the plan, plan, pan, like new kids on the block type shit. And everything else, I just else can't picture that, you as a, in a boy band, as I being a member. Oh, oh we can oh, totally. You're so you cute, you, you really are. I mean, I see you. <laughs> I mean, the, the tongue ring throws me off, but it was the 90s. It was what? the 90s. You're the only girl I've ever met. This is like, your tongue ring's weird. Usually like, no, no, I love well, tongue rings, but I'm saying to be a boy in a boy band in the 90s, but then you'd be like, um, well, you've got yeah. the tats and the gauges. Well, that, I that was didn't thinking... come until later. You know what I mean? The, yeah. kid, the kid is, okay. he doesn't have okay. any of that. He's not like with a chain. And a... <laughs> 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 it's not that. <laughs> That's great. So uh, we had their little one hit wonder, and then uh, like we, we put out three more albums, and they all just bombed, right? So we, uh, the band broke up, and here it is 20 years later, and then like Instagram and Snapchat and like now TikTok, where you can still sound videos, is where they got the premise of it. So like they, this just generation found our old music, mm -hmm. and they were like, this is great, and they start playing it. Well, they just say, hey, let's get together a reunion tour. So they go around and they start tracking down one guy's a doctor, one guy's a lawyer, can't tell you what he does. Another guy's like a fisherman. I went on to become like a B style rock star, like a kind of vanilla ice type thing. <laughs> That is excellent. It kind of fits. Right? Yeah, that is so well. Wow. It kind of fits. <laughs> my bands doesn't do really well. We're in and out of bars. And when they find me, I'm actually in rehab. And they have to, you know, talk all of us into getting back together to go and do this show mm -hmm. and the journey that we take along the way. And I had to shoot, oh, fuck, it was like three months of me just in the rehab part, mm -hmm. which so sucked because they wanted you to look haggard every day. So, like, I didn't shave for four or five days. My facial hair grows like Joe Dirt. You know? <laughs> like, there's, there's no beard coming out of me. And there's no connection. I look like a fucking old catfish. Like, like, girl, that's bad. Right, so they're like, let your nose hairs grow, 
lets you know your face grow. Don't and like when I would before I had to shoot, I would stay up for like a day and a half, two days, and I would drink a fuck ton of coffee. So I had like <laughs> those bags under my eyes, and then they would put makeup and shit all over me, and I had to play. And man, that was we shot it in a old hospital where I was at, and I had to like throw myself around and had to act like I had DTs and. <laughs> I, I could I could discuss that part. I can't discuss the end of it. But okay, well yeah. that would be I got terrible. hurt in one of those padded rooms because you I, got hurt in a padded room. I hurt room? myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! That's I, nice. I, was like, I was like, I'm, I'm all that takes like epic this. skill. Yeah. yeah. I did. They were like, throw yourself around and kick because they they come and they talk to me and I'm They're like, this is a great like, idea. Yeah. I'll take who's the murderer of, of the boy band group? Who's the murderer of it? Who's the murderer? <laughs> Well, I don't think it's really that sure. kind of movie, <laughs> yeah. but uh, <laughs> I don't know who do murders. Nobody, nobody dies. Nobody gets killed. Ah, oh, uh, lame. Okay. It's kind, of, it's kind of a happy. It's a, it's a happy story. Oh, it's okay. Happy, happy it was hope joy for yeah, it's it's hope for the future. Old people. It's nobody. Did nobody you say murders. bald people or old people? <laughs> <laughs> what is old people? <laughs> it's hope for us old people. What are you looking at me like that for? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're an old person too. No, I'm not. I'm 29, motherfuckers. Dare you prove me wrong? No, I don't. Two months of that just rehab. Just is it just rehab? Oh yeah, it took us two months to shoot because there's different scenes for the rehab because they had to come back time and time and then try to. It all did you ever end up in rehab after that experience you're like nope good follow no I'm, great. I, I'm real so i stick to whiskey and weed and that's, <laughs> I, if you stay with the w's you're good and i figured that out I, I smoke a lot of pot i do drink jameson a couple times a week but other than that outside the box you're you know, like no nope, i'm, not a, thank I'm you. not a drug mule you know what i mean i can't sneeze out some bike <laughs> <laughs> you got I am a Pez dispenser. Right? You saved so much on aloe. God damn, go back and see me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you walk to CVS, you're like, fuck you, Jacob. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Loves it. Oh, well, that's really super exciting. Like the premise, like everything. Mm -hmm. cool. it, was, it was fun. We, sounds we have, funny. We have a lot of stuff to tie up. <laughs> sounds funny. It is. It's, it's a comedy. Yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's why it's yeah. right up. Yeah, that's perfect. It's it's a comedy. It, it's it's pretty. There's some there's some times where we had to reshoot shit because we just start fucking laughing. And the guys that I'm with, uh, the chemistry between us is really good. So and we hang out outside of all this. So sometimes we would get in a scene and we'd do a scene for the fucking thirtieth time and we'd just start going off the kill and saying whatever we wanted to say. And mm -hmm. actually some of it actually ends up ends up like, Oh, we like that. I'm like, mm -hmm. hey, the suck boss, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys don't, you know, you know, they don't. Uh, <laughs> the writers are great. They're great. We love them. Uh yeah. I'm not a stewardess, but okay. Wait, oh you, well, all right. Well, are we that far delayed? I guess we are. I don't know, but he is in Salt Lake City. So oh, okay. there might be another delay added to delay. So um need to put minutes on the Wi-Fi. That's too easy. Anyway, so what's the best stage you ever been on? What's the what? Best stage you, you have ever been on. Do you have one that when you hit it, you were like, hell yeah. Uh yeah, there's a few of them. Um the Lash Factory, that was one of the ones I, I wanted to hit. Being on stage at Zany's, being on stage at Second City was a lot. It was cool. Uh, go bananas down Florida. That was one of the ones I wanted to hit hit there. Um, but the coolest one uh, was 2007. Yeah, because mom passed in eight. So it's 2007. I booked on the Circle City Classic down at the uh, not the Egyptian Room, big main mm -hmm. down there. The Old National. The Old National, yeah. Mm. And it's um, all the same. Bruce, yeah, Bruce was exactly. the headliner. Earthquake Bruce. was the MC. Wow. And um, can't think of his fucking name right now because I'm high. <laughs> I'll get back to it. Why does it do that? Why? Because like, I smoke pot all the fucking time. Yeah. And like, I was, I was. You'd be in the middle of a story and somebody's like, erase. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, 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 they're sitting in the control the room in your brain being yeah. like, yeah. Some the, things up are like, how does that like work that? with comedy though? <laughs> I mean, well, I don't get high for it on stage, but I mean, <laughs> are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, when am I not? I was high with driving here. <laughs> no, I was high we could tell. Yeah. I, 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 I love my parking chair. I, 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 I should have pulled up and be like, it's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> yeah, so anyway, I was on that stage and it was doing two shows that night and it was during the Circle City Classic, right? Once again, only white boy in the whole room. <laughs> so uh, we do the first show and I'm like hanging out backstage and the first show comes up and it's packed out, 2,500 people, packed. Wow. They're like They're like, you know, blah, blah, you've seen him on BT, Jeff Jams, I've been on there, give it up for Jacoby Ray. And my white ass walks out and everybody's like, yeah! <laughs> 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 yeah like, you can hear it. Like, it's like, like it's if you, the name could uh, You hear it like a couple, away. what the fuck? What the fuck? Right? Yeah, you can hear it echo through there. Then I get out there and I do my set, and it was my old set, and it fucking killed, and I did great. Oh, so and I come off stage and I'm buzzing because it's like, you know, one of those shows you're just mm -hmm. buzzing on. And I'm like, man, that was fucking cool. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And Earthquake comes, he gets does his thing, introduces the next guy, comes yeah. over, he goes, what the fuck are you doing hanging out back here? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in the, I'm in the wrong spot. And he goes, your fucking green room's down there. No. 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 Oh, <laughs> green room. Okay, right. Aww. So we walk down there, there's a little star on it in my name, and I'm like, check this the fuck out. Right? right? So we go walking in and they got a little meat tray and water. And my mom's with me. My buddy Timmy's with me. Mm -hmm. And we're all like, check it. You know, this is, this is, we made it. You know what I mean? We were right. alive. This You're living alive. moments you think you have. Yeah. Right? And then uh, they're like, hey, uh, Bruce Bruce heard you. He wants to talk to you before he goes on. Mm -hmm. You know, go down there and talk to him. So I, I'm like, I walk down this long ass hallway and I know he's on the other side of the door. And I, this dude's like an idol to me. So I like, I open the door like, you're like, ask your mom for water. You're like, hi. Mm -hmm. You know, like, what's, how do you, how you walk into that? He's like, hey, man, come here. I heard your set. Sits down. He's sitting there smoking blunt. He's like, you want some? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Why yeah. not? You know, I'll smoke with you. <laughs> so we're sitting there smoking and they're like, all right, you got to go. And I'm like, he goes, here, take this. And I'm like, okay, right on. So I'm like, <laughs> I got it, right? And I'm sitting there for a minute and I'm like, well, I guess I should go find my people. <laughs> you know, like, sitting there, so I'm like, oh, do I take this out? Do I walk down the hall with it? I don't know. Right, right. Like, right. 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 So, like, I just did the only thing I could do is like, I, like, I put it out the best I could. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. stuck it in this little ashtray. I'm like, that steals wheat. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got to steal wheat. Like, one show, you stole <laughs> wheat. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. So I go back down the hallway. And I'm sitting there talking with, with my mom and Timmy, and they're like, "Are you high?" I'm like, "Yeah, I just smoke." You know, it's good. So, like, I get back out on stage, and they they go to call me, and the weed hits. It's really like he's a star. He gets that good, good shit. You know what I mean? So like they call my name. And I'm like, I'm to like another planet. walking out on stage. And they're like, ah. he's like, he killed it the first show. Give it up, blah, blah blah. I'm walking out there and I'm like, holy fuck! I got on stage. I had no water, and my fucking awesome. mouth was dry. <laughs> and like everything was sticky, right? And I'm like, I need some fucking water. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I just played off of it and I was like, I was back here smoking brute brute. I got fucked by eating sand. This is bullshit. If I got any water, somebody throws a water on stage. I'm like, right the fuck on. And I drink it and I'm that works. on and do another hey, but Water on the fly. I did my closing joke, right? And then you know how they have the little like bar stools, little wooden bar stools. Mm -hmm. they, that's what they use up there on stage to so hold your drink or whatever. And I had like a, a, a glass of water up there. And when I did it, I did my closing joke, but it was like a an action that I did, and I turned around. And I looked at the water. You guys remember the Jurassic Park where they had the ripples mm -hmm. in the water and whatnot? They were laughing so hard the water was doing. That's it. badass. Yeah. Insane. And they're doing that, and I'm high, and I'm like, Whoa. You're like oh, boss. <laughs> not realizing that 2,500 people. And look at the show. <laughs> right? so they're laughing at my That's joke. So I'm like, what is <laughs> going on? And I get down, I'm like, did you guys see the water? You guys laughing so I start talking about it. And I'm like, get your high ass off. I'm like, thank you, good night. <laughs> That was that was that was one of the coolest ones ever. Aww, was, I was buzzing about that for fucking weeks. So. As you should have been. I'm oh, going to interject. Our time is coming to a close. Oh, should I talk I all the way through it? Mark? No, that's okay. We're you're. Uh, that's that's exactly what you're supposed yeah, to do. That's what an interview is. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we keep having shows where it's just really um, it's natural, and then by the time we look, it's you know, 50 minutes has passed, and we're like, oh, yeah, she had another fun. 50 minutes. I need to take my pants off. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> that would be the sequel. Go to the Netflix in 2021. Yes, after all the fame. So, um, do you have any places that you are going to be performing at? Anything up and coming that you can talk about that yeah. you would like to put out there, please? Oh, uh, you, there's a lot of a lot of people around here from Indianapolis and whatnot. We are mm -hmm. um, headlining at Joker's Comedy Club June 28th and 29th. 29th. Okay. Uh, the Wicked Circus has got two nights, and uh, it's going to be a uh, one night is going to be an hour set, and the next night's going to be an hour set, and both nights are going to get completely different sets. I've spent a lot. Oh, okay. Every Wicked Circus show that I do, I write a brand new hour. 
and I do one once a month. And mm -hmm. we're in the sixth, almost the seventh month. month? And we'll plug and we skip, that. skip one yeah. up because we had the World Series of Comedy going on. So I still yeah. have that one. And now I'm going to, we just said, fuck it, we'll do back to back. Nice. So I've been working on those two sets because I've got like a shit ton of material. But yes, June 28th, 29th, Joker's Comedy Club downtown. Uh, tickets are on Groupon. They're on the Wicked Circus site on Facebook. They're also on uh, Joker's <laughs> Comedy Club. There are also some in my pocket. Some of them are on crack. You can find them fucking anywhere. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Just look out for those. That's that's the, the next big show that we're working on. Exciting. And then two, two more coming after that. So. Awesome. Yeah, come to Jokers awesome. and hang out. It's also a TikTok meetup. Uh, there's a 72,000. Will that be safe? Yes. Are you providing <laughs> security? Yeah, there's security there. No, I'm saying you personally. Am I providing well, security? Well, a TikTok meetup. It's a meetup like where no. other creators get together and they come up. Uh, my dog Apollo is going to be there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, if you have, she's mad. You have a TikTok page? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah, so the pet easy. always has it. I'll have my daughter <laughs> following. Oh, he's, that's he's, healthy. Yeah. yeah. That, that was all puppies, but not the clown. Hashtag drug dealer. What do we expect, huh? So, Sandra's got something coming up. Yes. Night. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. Uh, the Helium's funniest. Oh, yeah, yeah. then you are in that mm -hmm. you, yeah um so i go tomorrow um i need people okay i don't have anyone coming so if you we're guys, coming you know, yeah we're coming oh we're yeah support support you. Well, these bitches are coming but you know other than that like i really need <laughs> these bitches we are amazing these bitches, bitches. We, we count as bitches. multiple people no we don't yeah but no. i don't know if i trust them to vote on me as a vote for me as a problem. <laughs> i am um, the loudest so <laughs> i will definitely be um, the decibel but yeah so come out <laughs> Why am I looking at the fucking mic? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah. She likes to talk to the microphone. You guys can't see it. I'm high right now. You're talking to the light. I'm like, cross eyed. I kept looking up, like, what the fuck is that? No. Um, I'm, I'm high spoke right now. <laughs> can't tell. Um, can't? Yeah. Oh, you can can't tell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anyway, so tomorrow, 8 p.m., I'll be at Helium's Funniest Person. Hopefully, Come out. if I make it there. No, I'll be there. Come out, support. Um, There's going to be a lot of great comics, too. So. And as far as is that, yeah, where are you going to be, Jacqueline? Um, well, open mics. Um, yeah, it's, I don't actually have, I know Burns, I'm hosting Friday. That's exciting. How yep. was hosting? Uh, good. You, you hosted? Really you had yeah. fun? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And yep, I got my first uh, guest appearance. Yes. That was really on freaking, Saturday. Yes, on Saturday at Jokers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're doing a guest spot. Yeah. I did. Yeah, and I got to hang out with the comedians, met some really great comedians. They were fun. We're going to get nice one guy. of them on the show. And nice young lady. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, but Friday, and as far as open mics, I don't know where I'm going. I might go to Jokers, might go to Bears. I don't know. There's no open mic Friday on Jokers. No, no, no. No, tonight. Because we usually oh, hit, no. uh, we hit someeplace after the show. Oh, there's yeah. two on Monday. There's bears and then there's yeah, um, bears. yeah we go to bears shoe fly. and shoe fly, shoe fly as Monday. Four months ago. Cool. They yeah, usually come. We yeah, you're welcome up. to join us because we usually go. Bears. Yeah, no more. We usually go and have a drink or two and hit the open mic, or you can just or just admire the curtain that has the beautiful um, bird pattern on it, <laughs> and <laughs> you're like, Ugh, <laughs> I can't wait till it starts melting. <laughs> so. Well, how about yeah, you? so I'm going to be hosting, um, I get to host the open mic at um, 1949 Tavern on Wednesday. Wednesday. Nice. That's one of my That's going to be, spots. thank mm -hmm. you. That's an excellent crowd of mm -hmm. not just comics, but the locals are like, they, it's regular locals every single yeah. week. And then, so it will be a lot of fun because I haven't hosted before, but. Um, oh, we got to mm -hmm. give a shout out to Tolly's open mic on And Tolly's is, what, is mic our is favorite epic. in Terra, not just in Terra, but it's Friday night. It's yeah. Terra Hope. It's oh, Terra Hope. But awesome. the karaoke afterwards <laughs> is epic. Everybody <laughs> sings in tune, except for me. I don't know about her. I, but... sing. I sing like a bag of cats. No, but maybe. You... Like how many? Just <laughs> how many bags of cats does it take? <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh... beat them. <laughs> oh, and, uh, yes, go ahead. Have another... Oh, I do have a special announcement. Oh, oh. Yo, yep, you're right. I apparently, a... uh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to use this platform right now um, to go ahead and announce my... Uh, I'm running for U.S. Congress in the 5th District of Hamilton County. <laughs> uh, U.S. Congress in 2020. <laughs> He's like, I Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. So uh, just look out for me. I think I might be the first declared, uh, first person to declare. You got my vote. Well, you're not in Hamilton County, are you? 
No, but I'll no. fucking move for you. <laughs> ah, yes, thank you. Well, yeah, so it's, it'll be fun. Okay, <laughs> so next week, I want to give our announcement on our guest. Or... Yes, and we are working on making sure because we're we, oh. this is our eighth episode, so we're two months in. Thank you, yes. special number eight. Yes, and it's been I going really well. You, I, I'm going to repost this to my Jason. Yes. Jason Ritchie is our guest. Yes, for so next Jason week. Ritchie is from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, hope no, I'm sorry, Chicago. Chicago. Other way, I non. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> way other way. Uh, okay, Midwest. Sorry. Yeah, so we're really excited yeah. that he's going to come and join us. Speaking stuff. Right? No geography. Just yeah. say work geography. on geography. <laughs> yeah. Vote for me in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> I got a special announcement. I'm running for mayor of fucking Australia's outback. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to uh, go ahead and bid everybody a good afternoon. And thank you, you for tuning in. Thank and, you. Oh, and one last quick thing. You can find us on Spotify, iTunes. YouTube, we are now 100% official. Official. Yeah. Official. Woo! So you can get. Thank you, you for us. Jacqueline's uh, technologically savvy. Uh, yes. Yeah. Get off the damn internet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way we're going to end it. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> you.